Yeah, we're here for a press day at Hangtown. Um, it's it's awesome to be here. You know, it's cool to go outdoors and uh, have a little uh, little time on the bike and on the track today uh, for Hangtown. And um, it's going to be good. You know, the the setup compared to Supercross is a lot different. So it'd be good to uh, break in the race bike as well and uh, have some fun today. You know, it's Thursday, so uh, it'll be good. All right, Eli, here we are at Outdoors, press day. That red number one looks pretty good on your bike. Yeah, I think it's worth keeping. So, um, yeah, we're here at Hangtown. It's crazy how fast, you know, the, the motocross season comes, um, you know, with that, with the, only that weekend off in uh, Supercross, and before you know it, you're here. Just excited, man. This is my second year uh, getting after it, so we know what to expect this year, and just uh, try, going to try to have more fun and just uh, let the nerves just... Just roll. I mean, just gonna have a uh, have a good time. Good weekend off last week, so uh, feel refreshed and ready to roll. Uh, feeling pretty good, confident to the first week of outdoors. Uh, I've been putting the hard work with the PC guys and my trainers uh, for the past month and a half. So, yeah, just been grinding away. So, when did you uh, get the call to you know that you were moving up? Uh, I got the call during Cal Classic. I think a week. Uh, during the week of Cal Classic, actually after practice, and which was a month, two months before this race, so it was a little nerve-wracking at first, but uh, excited at the same time. So yeah, it's always cool to come here to Hangtown. Um, I think uh, yeah, for sure, it was my first uh, ever uh, national here uh, uh, back in 2011. So uh, good memories and uh, and good results here so far. Uh, last year was great; we got second place and. Uh, and I was happy with that, you know, uh, this year I'm coming up uh, stronger and um, definitely excited. Um, always, you know, the first round is, like I said, always cool, you know, you switch it up from Supercross to outdoors. Uh, it's a di different atmosphere. This place has been pretty good to you in the past. Do you get pretty excited when you show up to Hangtown? Yeah, this place is um, typically not like a rider's favorite, but I've always had good results here. Just the way it, you know, it, it really just races. Um, Race is just gnarly, so uh, it gets super rough, and it's just it's it's one of the toughest ones, and it's just right off the bat. So it, it's one that beats you up, and it's like if you're having a good day, it's really good, and if it's bad, it, it can be bad here. So um, either way, got got to look forward to it and go pin it Saturday. The last couple rounds in Supercross were pretty good. Um, not great, but okay. But we're uh, we feel good going into outdoors, and just gonna do my thing, and we'll see how we do. Yeah, we were trying to go pro, uh, whatever fell on my part it, I was going with, but I was really hoping to go pro this summer, and that was always my dream to be 16 years old to go into the pro class. Yeah, the shoulder is all good, uh, for sure. I mean, I've been working on it uh, really hard, and uh, I don't feel anything, any pain or uh, discomfort. I uh, feel great on the bike at the gym, and I'm able to do everything I, I want, so it's awesome. Yeah. And are you, uh, how, how much outdoor testing have you been able to get in with everything? Uh, we've, I would say we've had a good year of, or good little preseason of testing for our motocross. A um, little bit more so than even last year. So uh, I think we're, we're in a good spot. You know, we started with a, with a good base and, you know, just improved from there. I have uh, quite a few goals, but my main goal this season is just try to get in the top 10 as many times as we can. Um, last year I tried to do that. Um, I don't feel like I did a well enough job taking what I learned from the previous week and uh, taking it into the following week. So I just want to try to uh, emphasize that a little bit better this year and um, break the top ten as much as we can and maybe get a couple top fives in there and just do what I know I'm, what I'm capable of doing and I think we'll all be happy. Is part of it with Marty and Adam being out that you got kind of a little, little accelerated um. push? I'm not sure. I think it was a little bit of that, but I think my results were pretty good in the amateur A class also at the same time. So just putting the hard work, it, it stinks to see uh, AC out and uh, Davlos, but but yeah, it's a great opportunity for me. Well, that, co that question comes up, uh, you know, often. Supercross, all motocross. Um, obviously, I grew up uh, doing both, actually, and I started uh, riding Supercross when I was super young, so I love Supercross uh, racing in stadiums, and it's a big show. But you know, to be able to live here in America and race uh, here in Supercross and motocross, it, it's it's the best. That's why I'm here, and 
it's difficult to really pick one. It's it's awesome to be able to race the the biggest Supercross championship for 17 rounds and then move to outdoors for 12 rounds. Um, yeah, I love when it's Supercross time and I love when it's outdoor time. So it's really difficult to really pick one. Um, obviously, when you win a race, either Supercross or outdoors is awesome.